we pretty much all moved out. Just a few last things to do. We gotta take away some garbage and we gotta come paint and clean. This place served us well. So good morning, everybody. We're getting close to the day when we get back in Old Blue and get back on the road, do some trucking. But we have to say goodbye to our old house and we have to get a few more things done yet before we hit the road. Today, I'm taking away some garbage from here to the dump and uh, getting a few errands done. There's a old mattress and box spring and bed frame in our shed in the backyard. I gotta go take that away to the dump. But in the meantime, we can come in here and uh, say goodbye a little bit with you guys. This has been a part of my vlogs and part of my life for three years now. We moved here in 2020. It's now 2023. Uh, we moved here because uh, we wanted Theo really badly. And Theo, our son, who's now seven months old, is an IVF baby. And the whole process said and done when everything was done, uh, the whole thing was about $30,000 Canadian. So it was, uh, it was an expensive process to go through. So we sold our big acreage. We had a big acreage outside of town, uh, on the east side of town and around the Marchand area. It was way out in the bush. It was a beautiful place. Uh, we loved it, but it was quite a bit to take care of and quite expensive to maintain. And we ended up selling it. We made a good profit on it. And we moved into this small house where our payments were very, very low. It was cheaper than rent in this little house. And uh, that made the IVF process possible for us at that time in our lives. And it paid off because now we have our son. So we're very thankful for this little house. But it's time to move on and start, start building our lives. Uh, got a bigger house now. Well, right now, let's focus on this house. So while we were here, we put in this new 60-gallon hot water tank. It's an electric hot water tank. That water softener is still the same. We put in a new washer and dryer. Underneath in the crawl space, uh, beneath the house, we put in a uh, HVAC system to circulate the air and uh, it's a dehumidifier as well. In here, we put in a new bathtub and surround. That's all brand new this year. These blinds belong with the house. I'm going to leave them here. A lot of memories were made here. This is the first home that Theo came home to. So part of the condition of the sale was that we, uh, we took our dishwasher with us, but we left the stove and the fridge and the microwave. And our TV mounts came with us, and that was our big wedding plaque, wedding board mount there. I patched up the holes already. All I gotta do is come back here today or tomorrow yet. I'm gonna go out and get the paint today. Uh, and then just paint that wall, paint that wall. And then Britt is gonna come in here, give this place a nice good cleaning. We'll be off. Oh yeah, we put in new light fixtures too, because there was ugly, ugly light fixtures in here before. We put those in, that's new. Well, we come back here to the back of the house. We put in a new thermostat. Uh, we also put in a new uh, air conditioner. Uh, really overpriced air, well, not overpriced, but we paid a lot of money for a really good air conditioner because we like really good air conditioning. We, we spent too much money, but it was worth it. It's a really good air conditioner on the back. Uh, the new owner now gets that. our master bedroom. I did paint this room. Now oh, it's kind of dark in here right now. We have the windows closed just to keep the sun rays and heat out, but it's kind of cold out there. 
got to come back for those plants yet, but I did paint this room. Oh yes, I have to paint this wall as well. That's where our TV mount was there. Let me give you a wider angle. This room is too small for this angle. There you go. Now you can see better. We put in new curtains, we sold the curtains with the house. Sometimes people keep those. We sold them with the house. And this was Theo's nursery. There's a lot of time and love and effort that went into this room. Uh, but it's all... All empty now. Leaving our little tire rim fire pit there. And I gotta get that bed out of that shed. So let's go get that done. I'll be back here one more time yet to paint and touch things up. Maybe to help clean if I'm still home then. I don't know if Britt's gonna clean now. Uh, the new owner takes possession in about a week or so. A little bit more. So we got some time to get this all done. I'm not gonna miss it. On to bigger, newer, and better things. Here was the yard. Yeah, I think the new yard's about three times the size. I think that's three of these. Maybe not quite, maybe like two and a half. Pretty close. Oh yeah, we put the fence up as well. Right over there, there's that fancy air conditioner that we bought, the Lennox. Sold all that with the house. This shed stays. Oh yeah, so I have this lumber in here too. I want to take that. That's some good high quality lumber. Okay. I think that's it. A little bit of mess in here. Oh no, there's these guys here. I gotta carry those things. I'll we'll have to clean this out of here. Dirt. I think that's it. I think this time that's it. Double check. No, that was already. Yeah, this one was already. Anybody home? Dropped off the U haul. Well, I just decoupled it. It's been married to my truck here for four days now. It's good. It's nice to have a little tiny enclosed trailer like that. Maybe I'll buy my own one day. Not anytime soon, but that would be handy. All right. Oh, I need to sweep this place out. Oh boy. It's time to clean this place now that all of our, most of our stuff is out of here. <laughs> most of it. Look at all the space for activities. So Old Blue went in for a service at the shop. It's all ready to go. Ready to go make some money. We're not leaving today yet though. A couple more days. I'm waiting for the guy who's doing our fence in the back there. Like we did that temporary fence. I've told you this already, right? Just to catch up the people who didn't watch. We built a little four foot, uh, let's correct that. My dad built a four foot uh, wall fence at the back of our yard just to close up the back fence because the back fence wasn't closed. Uh, we have a professional fence guy coming uh, what is it? day after tomorrow, he's going to give us, uh, he's already given us a quote and now he's going to measure everything out and make sure he's got all the materials and then we're going to decide on a date when that's going to get done in spring. And we're waiting for that. Once that whole meeting is done and we got the thumbs up, we're taking all blue. We got to go make some money. Got to pay for all this new stuff we got. <laughs> okay. First we have to go get it from the shop, I guess. I'm going to do that later with Britt. For now, I just got to bring in that lumber that uh, I took from the, uh, the shed there at the old place.
Now I just got rid of all that stuff in here. I'm already putting new stuff in to replace it. <laughs> That's the way it goes. You probably saw these countertops in the background of that last shot there. Uh, those are the, we got three of those. We had bought that to replace the counters in our old house. We were gonna redo all of the counters, right? And then things changed. Now we have a new house and uh, we need to find a purpose for those now. It's too late to return them. We don't really want to return them. We got a really good deal on them and they're really nice. So we'll find something to do with them. Uh, maybe downstairs in uh, Theo's playroom. Uh, once, he's, once he gets older, um, we're seriously considering homeschooling. That's what we'd like to do as the time gets closer. We'll see what our decision is, but right now, if it happened, like if he's old enough right now, we'd homeschool. Maybe we'll build some desks at home for, for schooling out of that. I don't know. I think that uh, that is something I can legitimately say I'm going to use one day. So we're going to keep it in here and keep it warm and safe. On the topic of homeschooling, though, I'm very curious. I have a large audience. I like to pick your brains a little bit there. Uh, do any of you homeschool your kids? And what do you think of it? How hard is it? <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to homeschool. We would. Uh, there's a big homeschooling community in our area here. So the, the, the common question you get is like, well, how will your kid get socialized, right? That's not an issue out here. There's a huge network of homeschools, uh, homeschooling families who all get together all the time. And it's almost like you go to school, but your teachers are your mom and dad and not some uh, person you don't know. Uh, teaching them who knows what in the schools. Right? So uh, you have absolute hands-on control of the information that's being presented to your child and how it's being presented. Right? There is a curriculum you have to follow, obviously, I understand that, but uh, you also get to spend the time teaching your own children that way. We got a little bit of time yet. Theo's only seven months old. It's not like he's going to school tomorrow, so we got some years to think about this yet, but like I said, we're heavily, heavily leaning towards homeschooling. And uh, we've got a lot to learn before that happens. So we've got a few years to get that done. And so my first step here is to ask other people who homeschool their kids, how is it going for you? Let me know down below in the comments section if you homeschool your kids, if you're comfortable sharing this stuff. You don't, if you don't feel obligated. If you homeschool your kids, you don't want to talk about it. That's fine. You don't have to comment down below. But uh, if you do, I'd, I'd really like to know how, how, how you like it. And, uh, you know. Any tips and tricks? Anything I need to know? So I'm guessing, I mean, this is Theo's playroom right now. I'm thinking that uh, if we did homeschooling, this would probably become somewhat of a classroom, maybe? I don't know. We'll see when the time comes. But it is a nice little room though, eh? It's like a little bonus room at the end of the hallway. It's really awesome. This is about the size of his nursery at our old house. No, this is just his... His spare room. His other, other room. He's seven months old. He has two rooms. <laughs> what a guy. He's going to have to share it with his siblings once they come. Hey guys. Future Josh wrapping up the vlog again. I know. Trevor Josh, you forgot to film an ending. I know. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, very often when I'm filming throughout the day, at the end of my day, well, especially when I'm at home, well, I, let's be honest, even when I'm on the road, uh, like I am right now, I'm back in Old Blue right now, I am in the future. Let me tell you, the future is uh, exactly as you expected it to be. It's cold. It's actually raining. Cold and rainy, but there's snow on the ground. It's going to be slippery. But enough about that, I can't reveal the future. You'll have to find out for yourself. Very often, uh, uh, I forget to film an end today. When I'm at home, we have a routine that we have with Theo that uh, 
you know, this whole bedtime routine. You know, we get him ready for bed. We get him in his pajamas. Got to change his diaper. Uh, and then we read him a bedtime story. We give him his story. We give him his. Sorry, I can't talk right now. We give. We read him his bedtime story, and uh, give him his nighttime bottle. And then we sort of rock him for a little while till he falls asleep. And we go put him in his crib, and we kiss him, and we tell him we love him, and that we'll see him in the morning. And if I'm going on a trip in the morning, I, I explain to him that. Uh, you know, Daddy's got to go on, got to go to work tomorrow. Got to go on a trip, but Mommy will be here in the morning. Or if I'll be there in the morning, I'll tell him, you know, Daddy will be here first thing in the morning. Cause when I'm at home, I'm on, I'm on baby duty. I'm on Theo duty. So whenever he decides to wake up in the morning, it's me that goes and uh, goes and greets him. And he's such a happy baby. He's so awesome. See, he's all in the pictures all around me here. He's so happy all the time, he's so perfect. And I know every parent says that about their child, but he really is. He wakes up with such a big smile on his face every day. Oh, and I miss him when I'm gone. I gotta do what I gotta do, right? I gotta provide. That is my purpose. That is my fam that is my family. And I've gotta I've gotta pay for the roof over the head, I've gotta put food on the table. That's what I, even though it's hard. It's very difficult. Very, very hard to say goodbye. More than I'll ever admit. I'm just admitting that it's hard right now and I'll just tell you it's harder than that. <laughs> but I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm just like you. We gotta pay for uh, what we got. But anyway, sometimes throughout this whole bedtime routine, by the time that's all over, I just collapse in bed and just go to bed because I know that he's going to wake up much earlier than I want to wake up. So I better get to bed as soon as I can because he's going to be awake before I want to be awake. <laughs> Which means I'm going to be awake also before I want to be awake. And I didn't film an in end of day. Anyways, you guys get it. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. I appreciate that. Uh, my uh, questions about the homeschooling thing were uh, genuine. I would love to know if any of you homeschool your kids. Please don't feel obligated to comment down below if you don't want to. I understand not everybody wants to be uh, featured or uh, not saying I'm going to feature, feature you in a vlog, but if you, if you want it to be more of a private conversation, you can email me at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. Email is listed down below in the description. I would love to hear your experience as a parent who homeschools their child. We have several years yet, or a few years yet anyways, before this would happen, so it isn't like a, a for sure, for sure thing, but we're like 90% sure right now. We'd really like to homeschool our kids, and I, I, I could use all the advice I could get. So uh, I look forward to hearing some of your feedback. Thanks for watching everybody. Please be safe out there. Keep your head up when you're out there on the highway. There's a lot of crazy people out here. Keep your stick on the ice and please drive safe. I wanna get home to my family and I want you to get home to your family.